Okay, now it looks like Colorado is putting forward a vote for single-payer health care. And we'll see how that goes, because it failed in Vermont uh, recently. Uh, I think it actually passed the vote, initial vote, single-payer, but... And I'm kind of weak on a lot of details, so I could be wrong about a few things, but then the governor decided to backpedal and say, hey, we, it's too expensive, and the initial data that we had isn't, isn't accurate, and it's not going to work out. So now Colorado is making an attempt. And, you know, the thing is, it might single-payer health care might have to show that it can work on the state level first before it can be rolled out to other states and other states will come on board with the program. I, I just think that a comprehensive health care solution, like you see it in so many other countries, and the thing is other countries do it differently. There's no one blueprint. You might have, uh, have to come up with an American solution to this problem. The one problem with that is the way our health care system is set up right now it may be hard to try to paper over it with a single payer system that actually will work. If you try to preserve too much of the old system, it probably will just be too expensive. You probably need to change the way healthcare works in this country entirely. But the problem with that is there are a lot of money uh, and a lot of organizations a lot of special interest that's going to be in a way of doing that and they probably are going to try to destroy any initiative that's going to change a way things are currently being done because they will lose money in the long run if there's a new system in place even if that new system is would be beneficial to most Americans it won't be beneficial to their bottom line, so they will not support it.